morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Maravit Education Center. This series is for Pratom 6. Let's learn some vocabulary words. You will learn how to spell and pronounce vocabulary words about food and nutrients. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go. Calorie. Jewel. Concentrated. Quantitative. Body mass index. Please repeat the word after me. Calorie. Good job. Let's spell it. C A L O R I E. Calorie. Great. This energy value in food is measured in calories or joules per the amount of food. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Jewel Good job! Let's spell it. J O U L E Jewel Great! The SI derived unit of energy, the Joule, is named after James Joule. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Concentrated. Good job! Let's spell it. C-O-N-C-E-N-T-R-A T E D Concentrated Great The sugar solution is very concentrated. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great Please repeat the word after me. Quantitative. Good job. Let's spell it. Q U A N T I T A T I V E Quantitative. Great! The quantitative study of the nocturnal migration of birds. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Body mass index, BMI. Good job. Let's spell it.
B O D Y M A S S I N D E X Body Mass Index BMI Great! Her body mass index, BMI, is 24 according to her height and weight. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! After learning those words, what do you think is our lesson for today? We are going to talk about food-based dietary guidelines and body mass index. You are going to determine the nutrients in food we eat, identify the function of food additives and its disadvantages. Classify the energy requirement and study the quantity of some local food to be consumed and its corresponding energy value in calories. And lastly, value the importance of these concepts related to food and nutrients in order to survive and be healthy. Are you ready? Well, let's start! Food-based dietary guidelines used to assist people in making good dietary choices for the promotion of well-being and disease prevention. There are two aspects in the food-based dietary guidelines. What are these? Yes, qualitative and quantitative guidelines. First, we will talk about the nine guidelines for the thighs age 6 and above. This is the qualitative aspect of food-based dietary guidelines. Please read after me. 1. Eat a variety of foods from each of the five groups and maintain a proper mass. 2. Eat adequate amounts of rice or alternative carbohydrate sources. 3. Eat plenty of vegetables and fruits daily. 4. Eat fish, lean meat, eggs, legumes, and pulses regularly. 5. Drink sufficient milk every day. 5. These are the five food groups. Fruits and vegetables. Meat, fish, and alternatives. Foods containing a fat and foods containing sugar. Milk and dairy products, bread, other cereals, and potatoes. Please read after me. 6. Choose a diet that is moderate in total fats. 7. Avoid excessive intake of sweet and salty foods. 8. Eat clean and safe foods. 9. Avoid or reduce the consumption of alcoholic beverages. 10. You need to be very extra careful in what you are eating. 
In the quantitative aspect, the nutrition flag is used to suggest a range of daily serving for each group of food. The food at the top of this flag should be eaten the most, while the food at the bottom should be eaten the least. Can you please read what is in layer 1? Can you please read what is in layer 2? Can you please read what is in layer 3? Can you please read what is in layer 4? Very good! Now, let's go to body mass index. Body mass index or BMI is used to determine the appropriate mass for a person of a certain age and height. To obtain body mass index, you will divide height over mass. Please see the example. If your mass is 40 kilograms and your height is 1.4 meter, then, this is how you calculate the BMI. Write the formula. Change the value of mass to 40 kg and height to 1.4 meter. Multiply 1.4 meter to 1.4 meter because it's height times height. Then, solve it using division, height over mass. And we will get the answer, 20.4. And the weight status category is normal. For adult, 20 years old and above, his or her BMI is interpreted using the standard weight status category, which is meant for both males and females. For a child of 2 to 19 years of age, his or her BMI is interpreted based on his or her age and gender. His or her BMI is plotted on the BMI for age growth chart. Please read and study the table and chart the one you can see on the screen. The percentile range will vary according to the age and gender. Thank you and see you next episode.